At OceanX, our mission is to explore the ocean and bring it back to the world. But we can't do it alone. Scientists, divers, explorers, volunteers, and ocean lovers of all kinds are working to understand and protect the ocean in their own communities and around the world. These are their stories. We're heading to SG12, Svalbard Ground number 12, that is a new uh, NASA antenna, the most expensive and state-of-the-art antenna that we have on this uh, station. These antennas, they are uh, downloading data from satellites that are passing over us 24-7. And this location here is the best in the world for downloading data to the ground. Svalsa, Svalsa, da er Maja Stina på vei ned. My name is Maja Stina Ekstedt. I uh, am the station director up at uh, Svalsa station. The largest ground station in the world this station. It started off in 1997. An engineer from NASA and our CEO, Rolf, came up here and uh, thought maybe we could have one, maybe two antennas up at Svalbard. And they got themselves up at this mountain. There was absolutely nothing here then. I thought, yeah, this would be the perfect location. We are up here at uh, 78 degrees north. And it's uh, definitely not the easiest place uh, to have a ground station. But if you think about the, the Earth, these are the satellites, uh, they are going over the, the polar areas. If you have a station down at the equator, you will not be able to connect to the satellite every time it passes. But since we are here at north, we can connect to the satellite every time it passes, and that's unique. They can look at weather, they can look at cloud between the ground and the satellite, they can look at wave height, they can look at plankton on the ocean, oil spill, you name it. The data that we are downloading on these antennas we can combine that gives that insight and that information about the planet. Illegal, unregistered fishing is a huge problem. Satellite imagery is a really good tool in the fight to combat illegal fishing. So we can see tracks and behavioral patterns based on the tracks, if they are fishing, what kind of equipment they are using. And sometimes we can even see two ships that are very close together out at sea that shouldn't really be together. So this is the um, operation center in Svalbard. This is where the magic happens. This is uh, where we monitor all the antennas, all the communication, all the taking down the data and from the satellites. These guys are working 24-hour shift. This is, you know, the most important thing because if anything happened, they had to react to it immediately. We have pioneered the use of satellite data for operational oil spill monitoring. When you clean up a big spill, the spill is moving around, it's changing, it's drifting, and you want to put your resources and clean up resources where it really uh, counts. The thing is that the big accidents you hear about them, everybody knows about them, and a lot of effort is put into cleaning that up and managing it. Sometimes a small oil spill in the worst place for migrating birds, for instance, can really be very critical, even though it's small. It's a lot of things we can extract from the image and then try to forecast where the oil would end up. What we are doing here is having this great importance for a lot of aspects of the future. And when you live up here, you see it very closely. And I've been living here for 10 years, and we see the differences in the glacier. We experience the extreme weather. So you live very close to the changes. 
It is very satisfying to work uh, on a place like this where your work is contributing to the understanding of the global climate change that we see now.